We do indeed. We are with Guru <laughs> Begim Tohirjanova. Begim, welcome back to the show. A win against uh, the leader of the tournament going in this round, Megan Lee. How do you feel right now after such a victory? Oh, it, it feels amazing. Yesterday I couldn't sleep after I lost the game, so I had to like I had to win. It didn't matter who I'm playing. I just came to win the game and. Luckily, I won. <laughs> this tournament, especially the ladies' section, is so topsy-turvy. Uh, the leadership position always changes. What is it about uh, this event? Uh, I think uh, we are not as professional as uh, like men's section. We have like almost all of us has uh, different things that we do, uh, so we really don't focus. Maybe Irina Cross, she's the only one who's and young girls who work uh, on chess more. But I'm a student too, so I can feel others who do something else in life. That's why it's kind of like we so are not stable. So that opens up the possibility for more decisive results, yes. is what you're saying. Yeah, Got it. we are Got not it. stable. I understand. Okay, let's talk about today's game, because it was quite tense and I didn't really know what's happening in the position. How did you assess it? Uh, I had no clue. After she played knight e4, that's that's a weird move. You, you usually, is. like, everyone plays castle. So I decided to just uh, play something logical, like c4, knight c3. It, it seems to me, seems like very logical, and I need to just develop my pieces, and we'll see. I, mm -hmm. I thought she's gonna take on c4, but but it felt like my position was always better. And it was indeed, taking on c4 was a bit uh, dangerous, at yeah. least. But she was nervous. I, I do understand her situation. He's, she's like, uh, she's trying not to lose the game, but she needs to score some points as well. That's why she, uh, she risked a little bit for no reason, I guess. So you felt her being in the lead puts extra pressure on I mean, you can even shoulders. see the way she's moving. It's just like she's writing down the moves. She was just very nervous to mm. play the game. And you're playing quite fast up to this point. How did you assess it, especially at this point? Okay, an extra pawn for her, but you do have your own compensation with this attack coming on the king side. Yeah, I thought two bishops, okay, I do understand she has extra pawn and I'm not getting it back, uh, like, uh, I don't know, in a few anytime moves soon. or yep. anytime soon, right? So I just said, I'm just gonna play the game and it feels like her knight is not that well placed as well. So I, I had h4, h5 ideas, but I thought I'm gonna develop and at some point it just happens. And you ladies went into this. She was setting up some ideas of knight takes e5. Yeah. You defended with this move, queen to e3. That's so weird. Here, I, I have a feeling that I let her uh, like go a little bit. Maybe bishop b4 at some point would be better. Let's uh, take a look. Actually, at this point, it seems like she is slightly better. Yeah, uh, to that's the so weird because I, I, I felt like I did all the natural moves and I ended up being not like... Mm even better. Yes. Because it felt like I was better. And bishop to e4, knight yeah, to c7. Probably, uh, yeah, I, I wasn't happy about bishop e4. I thought it's the worst square because after knight c7 she's threatening like b4 and I cannot even play bishop d2 or something like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, so for example if you go h4, b4 counts. Yeah. And, and then, then a6 is protected, anymore. yeah. Yes. My plan was to take on b4 with the uh, bishop. So that's why maybe bishop b4 would be better for me than uh, bishop a3 at some point. Um, like maybe earlier, point? right? Here maybe here b4? bishop b4. Hmm. Uh, unclear. It, it does say like rook a7. Yeah. That actually improves the position for uh, black. But still very tense position at this point. And uh, this felt like the critical moment. When I wasn't she allowed sure if h4, like h4, h5 was a, a good idea, but then I like spotted that if she plays knight e8, which is a very natural move, it's, she's just losing. After so, d takes c5, knight yeah. e8? Uh, I, I thought she could miss it because uh, she was in, like, she was in a time trouble, that's why she, it was very hard to assess the position. It's mm -hmm. so weird because mm -hmm. if you do uh, something else, you're kind of okay, you're holding a position. Well, only with this take, move knight to d5. Yeah, I thought after knight d5, it's just equal. Yeah. But I wasn't sure if then. she's gonna give away a pawn. So you felt she was trying to uh, because she was trying to hold keep some chances yes. of winning the yes. position. Yes, that was 
that was the thing, I guess. Got and it. she couldn't assess after 95, it seems like. And you found this idea with rook d7, bishop to c6, which was critical, and after that yeah. converted a nice game. game. Back game, congratulations. Uh, right now, you will be one and a half points behind the leader, most likely Jennifer Yu, going into the last four. Uh, what ambitions are you harboring about uh, the last four rounds? I, I'm just trying to play uh, like chess, but unfortunately I'm not playing well. That's why I, I just want to play, I just want to show some good games because it was a disaster and I'm very <laughs> upset about my uh, games. So I don't, I don't really care about the results. It's just like I already missed my chance, I guess, but I try to do my best uh, to end the tournament well. Guys? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just uh, Thank you. Congratulations. Great, great game. game. Yes, uh, yes. We really like. enjoyed it all the way through out, uh, Begum, and uh, good luck in the rest of the tournament. Absolutely. Thank you, we enjoy watching you play. And uh, I don't know, Anastasia, I think it's just time 